there's no issue of Jesus is pure. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the one who's untouched. Jesus is the one whose blood is of light to us. But that doesn't mean that we worship him. That doesn't mean that we praise him. That doesn't mean that if I commit a sin, I have to speak to Jesus in order for Jesus to speak to God. I go straight to God. We all say that we're children of God. So I don't believe nobody has to come between it, not taking anything from any prophets. If you don't believe in the prophet Muhammad, that's between you and your Lord. That's not between you and Jesus. That's between you and your Lord. We are all going to stand behind who prophets that we submit to and who we believe is speaking a true will as far as who's given the gospels, who's given okay. God's word verbatim. But so, I don't believe that because you're Christian, I'm not going to see my fellow Christian brothers in heaven because you're Jew. I'm not going to see you in heaven. I, I don't I don't know why everybody believes Muslims are this. What the Quran said. The Quran said, yeah, but again, the, the Bible says what, a lot of things that we yeah, take out of let context. Me, let, me, let me respond to you now. So the reason why we understand that, it, you know, according to Islam, Jews and Christians will not be in heaven with you Muslims, according to your theology, is because the Quran literally says in chapter 98, verse 6, it says, those who disbelieve among the Jews and the Christians and the polytheists will have their abode in hellfire. They are the worst of creatures. So the Quran is clear. Uh, when it comes to my condition or my destination as a Christian who rejects Islam. If I okay, reject so Islam, as a Muslim who accepts Islam and reads that for themselves, not through the eyes of other people, not through their friends' eyes, through the people that they see and they follow, who accepts and listens to this verse for themselves, me as a Muslim, I believe that means if you truly in your heart are a disbeliever, not in your mind, Again, Allah tells us that he's put people in instances where they whispered, I am a true believer, just because they didn't want to be cast in stone. So I'm not going to say that because you whisper that you're not a true believer, you're not a true believer, because only God knows your intent. So if you are not a true believer, I do not believe that you will be in heaven with the true believers. That does not mean that I don't believe in Jesus. That doesn't mean that I don't believe in Moses. Yeah. That doesn't leave I believe in Amber. No, to you it does. And well, again, no, let me, let me we Wait, 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 one you, second. You, we pay for our own sins, from. though. Yeah, let me, let me, you asked where we was coming from. Where I'm coming from, that shows your disconnect. When you say that Jesus is the Messiah, for example, what does that mean? Jesus is the one to walk this earth, the most purest form of human beings. But that's not There's what no Messiah. pure form. So again. That's true, but that's not what that means. That's not what Messiah means. So what do you interpret that that means? Okay. The actual definition, so I can get some more clarity. No worries. The actual word means anointed one. He's the anointed. Okay, so the the one that walks one second, the one that walks this earth of no Good sin you, you're trying to get will not be. No, I, I'm just I just want to say I just want to ask you this. So the person that walks amongst this earth of no sin, the most purest form, is not the anointed one. He's the anointed one, but it does the Messiah. The word Messiah doesn't mean one who is absolutely pure and walks this earth who's the you know purest and cleanest of us all. That's not what that means. The word Messiah means anointed one, and he's anointed for a specific purpose to do something. He's supposed to do something. Do you know what the Messiah was supposed to do? To spread the word of God, the true word of God. Nope. So what we'll see, well, that's it. what our intentions is as Muslims. So as a Christian, what yeah, is the not, truth? We're not talking about your intention as a Muslim. I'm talking about the purpose of the Messiah. What was the Messiah supposed to do? What was his mission? Do you know? To as gather the true believers. As a Muslim, I would believe to gather the true believers that were in disbelief, people well, so that weren't believing. Nope. You're, you're, the Quran doesn't even say that. Here's the, here's the point. The Quran is silent about why Jesus is identified as the Messiah. It's silent, it doesn't tell you why. It just assumes that he's the Messiah because yes, it's true he is, but it doesn't break down why, it doesn't show how he accomplished that or how he fulfilled that mission as the Messiah. It doesn't tell you. This is the disconnect where you need to, so, so now when you have this disconnect about Jesus as, as the Messiah, you then now have false beliefs about Jesus. This is where you this assume that you have false beliefs because I don't have false beliefs about Jesus. I know there was a purpose for him. There was a time where he was needed. He came okay. from the pure Virgin Mary who can, who was never touched and she beholded a child. So there was mm -hmm. signs that God was sending for Jesus because he knew that we were living in wicked times. We needed this pureness. 
Okay. We didn't need somebody to walk and talk like us and act but, like us but, and sin like but us. But what does his what does his pureness do for me? Because it says that he was in the Quran. It says this, chapter nineteen. He verse spreads 20. the message. But not just that though, because what message though? <laughs> What message specifically was Jesus spreading? There is one God. You must not kill. You must Everybody not kill. Knew you that must already. honor your mother. The Jews knew that already. They already had the law. And we still were going through chaos. And you see what happened with the Jews. That, that has nothing the to word. do like, with that. Why do you do think prophets that. are being sent? They're being sent for the time that they're needed. But are they, are, they being, are they being sent to say the exact same thing over and over? If no. it correlates with one God, you should repeat the same thing over. If we believe that only one God sent that okay. message, okay. and we so all should correlate. Wait, so were the Jews were the Jews worshiping multiple gods when Jesus showed up? No, but the Jews were okay. living in an in an astonishing way. You know the stories of the Jews, and this is even that's fine. But look, look, here's the point, though. The point is, is that the Jews were already monotheistic. They already worshipped one God. So if they already worshiped one God, they didn't need anyone to tell them there's only one God. They already knew that. What was the message that Jesus came for them then? They were falling out of the realms. They were living in oh. devilish ways. They were living, letting the shaitan, the devil, get to them. Although you believe in one God, that doesn't mean you won't be tested. That won't. That doesn't mean that he's not going to send okay. hardship and, at your and, ways and for you to what fight. Did Jesus you. Say, I got you. What did Jesus say is the way to get to get mm -hmm. right with God? What did he say? So as far as Christianity, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe that in Islam is to believe in one God. And if you <laughs> do is. sin, no, I'm, I'm continuing. And if you sin, repent for your sins. Every time that you go out and live this life, if you where make the a Quran bad deed. Jesus, where does the Quran tell you that Jesus taught to for, to repent of your sins? Where does, where does the Quran say that? He's, he had no sin. No, no, no. He where, where does he's the, pretty no. much telling you to walk where, in my you, life. He's telling you to walk like me, and he is of no sin. Where, that means that where, you should not commit where, sin. Where does Jesus say that? Show me. He in tells the Quran. us don't. He tells us don't backbite. Okay, where does where in the Quran does Jesus say don't backbite? Jesus, I don't, I don't know the exact verse in there where he it's, states it's that Jesus there. doesn't say backbite. It's, it's not. Here's my point, sister. My point so, is, is that so do you think Quran, that we're going to know? So do you believe? Point. Listen. The Quran doesn't tell you what Jesus taught. That's the point. That's the disconnect. The Quran doesn't tell you what Jesus taught or why he specifically came. So is That's that the, the purposes of, of, of Islam not being real because they don't go into full depth of what Jesus taught? No, that's not why. Here's, here's the, here's, this is why. So because there's a disconnect, because it doesn't tell you what Jesus taught, it gets wrong the things that Jesus believed in and, and these truths what, about what, what did I say in this conversation that was wrong? What did I say in so, this conversation right, so, that I got so, from Jesus that was wrong? So, for example, because when you're saying that he came to get them back right with God, you don't have an answer of what did he say is the way to get back to get right with God. What Jesus said was when we read the gospel, we can see what he said. He said, come to me. Come to me, whoever believes in me, he will never thirst, nor will he hunger. You come to me, I will give you rest. You come to me and believe in me, you will have everlasting life. You come so to me. So you don't believe that when people come to Jesus, their intent is not pure? You believe that everybody that came to Jesus was pure intent? You believe that? No, I don't. The ones, okay, who, come, the so ones who come and believe in him, those are the ones who are saved and made right with God. The ones who are hypocrites and reject him and don't believe what he says about himself, they are still, you know, stained with their sin. This is why I'm saying this about Islam. As a so Muslim, you're saying that about Islam, Muslim, you, don't, you don't know Christ. That Jesus, <laughs> we don't what? You don't know Christ as a Muslim. We don't what, Satan? You don't, you don't so know. No, you're Christ. right. I'm not, listen, listen, listen. You, I never sat on here and said I know Christ. That I didn't say I know Christ's book from the beginning to the end. But what mm -hmm. I gather throughout my reading, again, we all have to sit here and remember that we're not going to pay for anybody else's reading. We're not going to pay for anybody else's sins. We're not going to pay for anybody else's wrongdoings. Only ourselves. So when I read, I have to make sure it resonates with myself. Because you, you could tell me anything. You could tell me anything you want about Christ, but it might not resonate with me the way it resonates with you. That doesn't make me a disbeliever in Christ. 
doesn't doesn't matter who it resonates with. Is it's it's yes worse. because it's either, to, no no because no. Listen, if you're if you're saying you believe in Jesus and it really is not in your heart yes, that you believe yes, in Jesus, that's a problem. Yes. Let me respond. It doesn't matter whether you agree with what Jesus said or or disagree with what he said. What he said is what he said. You didn't hear what I said. You didn't yeah, hear what you I said. said. I said you, you can said say you can agree. I said, listen. I said you can say you agree with them, but in your heart it doesn't resonate. So we're okay. remembering that God believes in your intentions of your heart, not what so you then say. That means you can that say if, you, anything. If, if his words don't you're resonate with God you, then you, you telling people then there's the disconnect. But that doesn't mean you're really Christian. That doesn't mean there's you, the dis. Pay attention. There's the disconnect. That's if you're your saying that his words don't resonate with you. No, There's I never said that. that. Listen, listen, listen. You got to listen to what I'm saying. There are people who wear a mask on their face and they tell people that they are believers. They believe in Christ and in their heart, they truly do not. Who are you to tell them that they are a true believer? Who am I to tell them that they are a true believer? We do not know that. Yes, Only we do. God we know does. them by their fruits. The Bible, Jesus says this. This is how you know the ones who follow me. You know them by their fruits. The ones who bear the fruit of Christ, bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And those in are the ones who are in Christ. And the in 2024, what wait, is that fruit? You, I'm, I'm, try, I'm talking here. I just the want to know what's that fruit in 2024. Why, why are you cutting me off, bro? Come on, Jazz. I just I'm, let I'm you your talk. sis, not your bro. I just let you talk. Okay. So you gotta, if, if I'm going to give you respect, you got to have the same respect back. All right? Yes. So when you have Jesus saying, those who bear my fruits, those are the ones who are in me. We we see this now. We can tell who's a who's a believer or not. For example, Jesus teaches that he is the son of God who came to give his life for the sins of the world. Do you believe that? I believe that he is a product of God and he came here to reveal God's message. So not to do you believe that he's the son of God that came to give his life for your sins? I believe he is the son of God that came to give us a message to clear us from our so sins. Do I don't believe that. I believe we all are the children of God. I believe he is a special son. Yes, most definitely. Oh, your Quran says no. Your Quran says neither Jesus is the son of God, nor are you a daughter of Allah. So if we want to state that we are all children of God, I mean that in the aspect yeah. we are all God's creations. We yeah, are not created right. without God. You're stating that it doesn't specifically say I am the son or I am the daughter of God. It I do not need that, that no to know that in my heart. Allah, listen, chapter 19, verse 93. None can come to Allah except as a slave. You cannot come to him as a daughter. Or a son, you could only come to him as a slave. He's only yes, your master. He's a slave of God. He's he right. is my master. He's a slave. Of, I am a slave no of God. So so your Quran contradicts what you said because you said you believe Jesus is a special son of God, which I a agree with. Okay, but so your a Quran creation. rejects that. So a special creation. I don't need the Quran We're to not, spe specifically say I am a son of God to believe that I am a creation of God because without so God I am not created. Correct. He's the son of God. Do you still affirm that or no? Yes, I believe we are all children of God. So then you he's just, a human being. He bleeds like me. He pees like me. He eats like me. He so gets tired you, like so me. You reject the Quran. No, I don't. You want me to reject the Quran. I don't reject the Quran because it doesn't specifically say that. What? What okay, type so of? Let me, let me what show type of you ideology? Not, let me is show that? you. Let me just show you how you reject the Quran. Let me just no, show. No, you can't show me anything. I'll just show you. You can't show me anything. Yeah, I can. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you. You're going to show, show me you. what you interpret. That's what you're going to do. You can say know, that. I'm, I'm going to show you, you what I it. interpret and how no, I'm I let feel you read. it says. I'm going to let you read. No, I'm you gonna... read it. It's your show. It's your platform. There you go. Because I don't want you saying that I misinterpreted or anything like that. Go ahead. Can you read this? And what me? is this? You read, ask me, Quran. what is this? Chapter 9, what verse 30. So I can't pull my Quran up because I'm on my phone and I, I don't. I just learned how to do this live I, stuff. So I have the Quran up for you. Yeah, but there's there's multiple translations. So let's not let's what, not. What that. translation do you want? Read it and interpret it how you want me to. Understand. I know I'm not interpreting anything. I want you to read it. No, I don't, I don't want you to accuse I'm looking me at it. You of, read of, it of, of you, saying, "Oh, sir, you're interpreting it in your own way." Sir, Can you read it to, so that no, there's no confusion? It. You read it for me, sir. I'm not here to read anything. I'm here to explain and express my feelings after that, that you state. So no, you go ahead and read it. Feelings. We're here about truth, not feelings. Okay, truth. I'm here to state my peace. How okay, about that? I'm so here to it state says my here, peace. It says, the Christians say 
The Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouths. They imitate those, uh, those saying of those who disbelieve. May Allah destroy them. How deluded are they? So Allah, the Quran says that you are deluded and a disbeliever for saying Jesus is the son of God. Okay, so can we take in effect that when this was revealed, people were rejecting Islam because it came from the prophet. So can we reject, can we say that he's stating that in the sense of you're rejecting my word because of who it's coming out of? You're killing the message yeah, because, because of the Muhammad message. Muhammad so is why contradicting Jesus who says he's the son of God. Muhammad just he said says in the Quran the that he's not it the, says son the of God. Christians say the so Christians do you, do you say, agree with the Quran verse? So here? these Christians could be disbelievers. Do we not know that? We so don't you know just, if they're you disbelievers. Just, why are they disbelievers? According to the verse, why, what makes them a disbeliever? The way they're stating that he's the son of God, direct Boom. lineage. So you just said that Jesus is the son of God. So you're a disbeliever according to the Quran. So don't you God, don't you, don't you Christians believe that Jesus is wait, God? There's a, that. Don't you? No, 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 wait. No, I'm, don't I'm, try I'm to change the subject. A, no, I'm not trying to change the subject. Right, I'm trying to get care, clarity. You can't, you can't, you can't. I'm trying to, you can't, can't even let me go in character. Boot me, do what you do best. Yeah, take care of yourself. Can't even follow a conversation. It doesn't matter if they're male or female on this, uh, in this religion. All of them are half-brained. All of them are half-brained, every single one of them. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a female in this religion. 